A domestic violence amendment bill has made it one step closer, reaching the governor's desk. New specialist Shelby Lofton joins us live from the Capitol to tell us more about that bill and others lawmakers say will protect victims. Shelby? Mike and Dini, Senate Bill 117 just passed out of the House Committee and a large crowd of people came out to hear more about this bill and hear from some of its supporters. And some of the stories those supporters shared may be familiar to you. Bill 117 had been in place. It may have saved Mandy's life. That's Amanda Maine, cousin of Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson. Maine was killed by her ex-husband last August. If they had given her the assessment, she would have answered yes to many of the questions and would have been recognized as being at high risk. Maine's mother is referring to Lethality Assessment Protocol, or LAP. Senate Bill 117 would require police across the state to use the same set of 11 yes or no questions with intimate partners involved in domestic violence cases. By having everyone that's responding using same language, using same levels of risk, survivors know where to go and where to get help. The Utah Domestic Violence Coalition said uniform measures across the state are necessary. Having a coordinated process between law enforcement and community-based victim service providers is, is vitally important to survivors. House Bill 199, which is voluntary firearm safekeeping amendments, was scheduled to be heard in the committee, but was pulled last minute. I thought we were really close. I thought we were there. I thought we had an agreement and some concerns were brought up. Representative Paul Cutler said gun rights advocates and victims advocates are coming back to the table to discuss issues. Many people like me who support the Second Amendment want to help solve our domestic violence problem with firearms. He said the point of contention is with making sure there's due process for someone accused of domestic violence while protecting their Second Amendment right. When emotions are high, when people are angry, that's when we want to find a way to, to, to keep firearms away from people from making bad decisions. Cutler and other lawmakers said they want Utahns to know they're working to reduce domestic violence and gun violence. We're trying hard to, to, to make that happen. Now, lawmakers also talked about elevating one of the questions asked during the lethality assessment. It's the question of if the aggressor in a domestic violence situation has ever tried to choke the victim. They said it should be in the top three questions asked to victims. 